when I had just become leader of the opposition, I sought out the speaker and I said, I would like to have a meeting with you. So I go to her office and uh, there was the clerk and so on. I told her, no, I actually want to have a meeting with just you and myself. Uh, if you don't mind, request these people to leave. I want us to have a one-on-one. -on -one. A one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And we did for like three hours. And some of the issues that I put to her, I told her, look, we have had fights in the past when I was chairing Kosasi. Why? Because you kept standing in my way. I was doing my work and you kept standing in my way. And inevitably, we had to fight. Because I was not going to allow you, powerful as you are as speaker, you're my supervisor, but I also chair a committee, I have a responsibility. When you stand in my way, I'll not allow that to happen, hence the fights. Yes, I have come to realize that the leader of opposition, Joe Sonyoni, had had a long time beef with the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anita Mong, from the committee stages. We all know Joe Sonyoni was heading the Kosasa Committee responsible to check government statutory authorities and state enterprise. For example, things owned by government and run by government entities are supposed to be checked by this committee. And I've come to realize that Speaker Anita, Anita Mung wanted to defend some entities from being checked by Joe Sonyoni during the, the, this committee. Okay? And I may not be surprised that even the Lumu bill which was given a green light by the Speaker was a formation by the Speaker to file Joe Sonyoni. In fact, if, if Rumu is watching this bill and all members of parliament, they must put in consideration that even when this bill comes on the floor of parliament, there must not be an, a, 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 a standing order which gives a leeway to, to a leader of opposition to be impeached. Because the framers of the 1996 constitution saw so that there, there may come times where the leader of opposition can check government strongly and an initial or oh, a, a, a motion to initiate his impeachment can be brought in parliament so that he can be impeached. Just imagine if there was a provision in the constitution for head of opposition Jason to be impeached. He would be impeached right now because the speaker seems not to like him. So in this episode, I've come to talk about the beef which has always been between J.S. Sonyoni and the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anita Mung, ever, even before J.S. Sonyoni was made the leader of opposition, what it means for our politics, and most importantly, the study materials we can learn from the politics of our nation. But before I do this, I want to know that if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And if you're watching this video from a different platform, please head on to YouTube, type in Sura Mawagari. There's a lot of content of this nature. If geopolitics and economics is what you want, this will be definitely the right channel for you to subscribe to. So, we all know that there is a turmoil between the office of the leader of opposition and the speaker of parliament. This normally comes because the leader of opposition has, has decided to check the speaker of parliament. Before Joe was appointed as the leader of opposition, we didn't know about the road in the parliamentary administration. We didn't, we didn't know about the corruption in parliamentary administration. It was until Joe Sonyon came at the helm and we started seeing deals cut by the parliamentary administration. We started getting about the 500 million shillings of the commissioners. We started to know about the contracts given by the speaker to his business, to her businesses, and very many more. In fact, even the Rumu bill, I think it is brought about in bad faith because they would want to impeach the leader of opposition in the near future, which is contrary to our constitutional spirit. Okay? But I got to know that this building, this head did not start when Joe Sonyoni is the leader of opposition. When Joe Sonyoni was the chairperson of the Kosase Committee, there are some entities which were failed by the speaker because he didn't, she didn't want Joe Sonyoni to check them. Case an example, when Joe Sonyoni handled the Civil Aviation Authority, when the report came on the floor of parliament, the Speaker of Parliament, the Speaker of Parliament, Anita Anita Mongo, ruled that it must not be debated. 
But before he ruled, we, used to, we, we saw pictures of Bamuturaki, the CEO of, of Civil Aviation Authority, in a meeting with the Speaker of Parliament. So I think he influenced this report on the floor of Parliament. That is one. Two, Jason also revealed that there are times where the Speaker of Parliament confronted him in some cases so that he, he does so 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 that he cannot investigate some government entities in this way it looks like the speaker used to tell jane Sonny as the chairperson of the kosase not to investigate the road in government enterprises in fact joe Sonny said these statements he has a tip no because um you see when you take a stand there will be a fight when i was still chairing kosase and you people covered many of our meetings and, and, and so on. Whenever I would take a stand, there were always fights. You know, and the speaker would say, ah, now you leave this entity. And I would say, no. Now you kick the media out. And I would say, but why? All the others we've been, you know, operating with the media present. Um, then she would say, leave this particular person. And I would say, no. And uh, th there was always a fight. Then at some point, she tried to use the committee members to throw me out. She did not succeed because... Um, yeah, those committee members were saying, but where is the problem? Uh, what, what wrong has he done? And some had actually begun to sign, because it's a committee member, a chairperson can be censured by the committee. Mm. So some had begun to sign, and as they were taken to others, the time at the heat of it all. They said, but, okay, so if I sign here, how am I going to defend it? What bad thing has our chairperson done exactly? I might not agree with him in terms of politics. He's a NUP, I am NRM. But what bad thing has he, has he done? Um, and so it failed. So it's not the first attempt. There'll always be that. Whenever you take a stand, there will be a fight. That is Joe Sonyan. You can see that since inception, Speaker of Parliament was fighting any person who would ask for accountability, even at the committee level. It's the reason I'm saying that some of these opposition members who are holding this position, I think they used to work on the whims of the Speaker. Mpuga was so comfortable, okay? Very comfortable, very, very comfortable. They had a lot of synergies with the speaker. And I think even the appointing authorities saw that they were, there was mischief. That's the truth. They saw that there was mischief and they changed Mpuga. And indeed, as fate could have it, we've now seen the road in the parliamentary situation to an extent that foreign powers sanctioned the speaker because of corruption, okay? So, fast forward, even when J.S. Sonny attained the low position. The first address which was, was made by the Speaker of Parliament is that he cautioned J.S. Sonny not to, to use his head, not his body to fight. You clearly see that there was, Speaker anticipated such issues. Because he told J.S. Sonny at the day of his swearing in as the leader of opposition that this, has, this does, doesn't entail fighting but the use of brains. That was a figurative statement saying that Joe Sonyon must keep his profile low and Joe Sonyon desisted. In fact, Joe Sonyon also came out that he held, a speak, uh, he held a meeting with the Speaker of Parliament and told him that he should not be in, in, in his way when he's doing his duty as the law. Okay? But after that meeting, things went bad. In fact, Joe Sonyon revealed this in this clip. He has, he has a tape. When I had just become leader of the opposition. I sought out the speaker and I said, I would like to have a meeting with you. So I go to her office and uh, there was the clerk and so on. I told her, no, I actually want to have a meeting with just you and myself. Uh, if you don't mind, request these people to leave. I want us to have a one-on-one. -on -one. A one-on-one. -on -one. Mm. And we did for like three hours. And some of the issues that I put to her, I told her, look, we have had fights in the past when I was chairing Kosase. Why? Because you kept standing in my way. I was doing my work and you kept standing in my way. And inevitably, we had to fight. Because I was not going to allow you, powerful as you are as speaker, you're my supervisor, but I also chair a committee, I have a responsibility. When you stand in my way, I'll not allow that to happen, hence the fights. I told her, now I'm leader of the opposition. You are speaker. You are my boss. You are my supervisor. But I've got a responsibility to execute. Please don't stand in my way. Let me be able to do my job. And then I told her also that as I do my job, which is to keep the government in check, this parliament is part of government. It's the third arm of government. Mm. I'll keep it in check as well. 
So as I go after uh, Right Honorable Nabanja and Hatim and, uh, and so on, that's the executive, where there are issues within parliament, be sure I will raise them too. Will that mean I hate you as speaker? No, because I also want you to do your job right. When you don't do your job right, all of us, the people that you lead as MPs within parliament, we are affected because you are our leader. Yes. And I thought that was a good conversation. Mm. She smiled about some of those things, and I told her, I'm actually very serious. I said, ah, but you, you can also, you know, you, you don't, let, let's work harmoniously. And so on. I said, that's exactly why I've requested to have this meeting, so that we can work in harmony. You do your job, I do my job. Don't stand in the way of me doing my job, but also do your job right, because it's my responsibility when I see something amiss about this parliament, I've got to raise it, because I'm a representative of the people. And I thought, good meeting. Mm. But as sure as day follows night, things began to happen that are problematic. That my work keeps being stifled. Did that is Jerry So you clearly see that the Speaker of Parliament had had a, has had a problem even since he became the Speaker of Parliament, the problem of accountability. That's the truth. It's the reason as to why even the Chikubo bill never made it on the floor of parliament because you would, it would unhearth the rot in the parliamentary commission. In fact, since in history uh, of the NUP leadership, I think Joe Sonyun has had a great job because the duty of the leader of opposition is to check government, is to task it to account. Okay? Can you imagine that the Speaker of Parliament once wanted to impeach the committee chairperson Joe Sonyun? Can you just know that if this rumor bill passes as is, it gives a provision of impeaching the leader of opposition. That means that whenever the leader of opposition would, will come out hard on the speaker, he would be impeached. The framers saw that. In fact, the change of the leader of opposition must be left to the appointing authority. Because if the appointing authority, and that is the party which has come as first runners, see that you, you are not doing your job well, they, ma they can relieve of your, of your duty. Not to leave that duty to the leadership of the House because you all know the Speaker of, of the Parliament has an influence, a lot of influence, by the way, on very many issues. So, this Lumu bill, if you are a member of Parliament watching this, a provision of impeaching the leader of opposition must not be put in. That's the truth. In fact, to make it even more strong, the first runners up, the presidential candidate, must be directly the leader of opposition. Because you will be getting the mandate from the people, not to be impeached. That's the truth. So this be our parliament has degenerated. That even the small gains, the, the, the constitutional gains we had gained, are now being pulled back because of selfish interest. Because the speaker doesn't want to account, and that is a problem. So I, it's the reason as to why I think Lumu is being used knowingly or unknowingly by trying to put in a provision of impeaching the leader of, of opposition. <laughs> and we all know, even when I'm a supporter of NUP, even when NUP is not government, is in government, I would want a strong leader of opposition to check the NUP government because that's when we will get results. Imagine if Jerry Sanyan had taken a back seat, we wouldn't know about the road, we wouldn't know about the 500 million shillings, we don't know about the tenders. So it means he's doing his job. So it is also uh, human for someone to fight back. And he can fight back using the law you made by impeaching the leader of opposition. So that is unfortunate. So the, be the beef between Jason Yunyi and the Speaker of Parliament has always been apparent. And it shows that the Speaker has not always wanted accountability. Of course, that's my opinion. Do me your comments by commenting about this. Thank you very much for listening in. If this is your first time on this YouTube channel, I employ you to subscribe, like, and comment so that I can be motivated to do more of such videos. I'll see you in another one. Peace.